adding animation to your layout is a great way to enhance realism. In this video, I will show you how I designed, 3D printed, and added lighting effects to a diner sign using an Arduino. I started with SketchUp. SketchUp is a 3D modeling program for a wide range of drawing applications. The web-based free version is great for designing 3D printed parts. There are many great tutorial videos here on YouTube to learn the basics. I do not own a 3D printer, so I upload my files to Shapeways to be printed. Here I chose a clear, fine, detailed material to help illuminate the sign. I start with sanding and cutting each part. Even with the fine, detailed material, there are still small lines in the print that need to be sanded smooth. After I am satisfied with the surface, I spray the entire sign red. I usually prime the surface first, although I would like to add LEDs to the back of the sign and only have the letters illuminate. The arrow parts are primed and sprayed white. There are 3mm holes in the arrows, which will house 3mm LEDs. Next I cover the front and back with masking tape and carefully cut out the letters. This step was tedious, but was worth the extra effort. After ensuring the tape was properly sealed, I sprayed the front and sides a flat black. Once dry, the sides were painted using a chrome paint pen. I then peeled off the tape, revealing the red letters. I decided to use wide angle, warm white LEDs. I wanted to replicate older incandescent bulbs. On to the wiring. Now I am no expert with electronics. I pretty much teach myself as I go along. I am wiring the LEDs to have a common anode, a positive. This is so I am able to power the LEDs using the 3.3 volt port on the Arduino and have the signal ports attached to each individual cathode, or negative. I am using 3.3 volts to help keep the lights dim, along with using 1K resistors I had on hand. They are soldered to each lead on the cathode side. The sign's base and supports are made up from various styrene parts. I am using a hollow square tubing for the supports and a flat sheet for the base. Some smaller square stock was added to the bottom for a concrete curb. The edges are sanded smooth and added some roundness to the curb. The posts were painted a flat black. And the base a flat gray. I will have a bush surrounding the supports, so I brushed on a flat brown to simulate dirt.
This adds a little visual interest and helps tie the base into the existing scenery. Here's the code, or sketch, I wrote to sequence the lights. I will have a copy in the description, as well as a few great channels I have learned from. I know the word Arduino can be a little intimidating and overwhelming, but it really is easy to learn the basics. Off camera, I added three small, red, surface mount LEDs to the back that will shine through and illuminate the letters. Well, let's see how it looks. Here it is installed at the Treasure Coast Model Railroad Club. With today's technology, it seems we are only limited by our imagination. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.